Yeah, so now you get to see the the mysterious Rick House. Uh -oh. No markings on the building. It's uh, it's like a government building. <laughs> I'm gonna interrogate you. <laughs> where, where are the aliens at? I mean. It's funny too, look, someone wrote, shut the door. It's, <laughs> it's not blood, it's paint. <laughs> yeah, so this is Rick House. So this is the the other side. Often I have a different hat on, literally. Mm -hmm. um, there's one over there. Uh, this is the brokerage that we've started. So this area that's in the front, you can kind of see whiskey and stuff strewn about. This is gonna be the client area. So. Most of our clients are all around the nation. I think I've only got one Colorado client, but most of them are California, Texas, Kentucky, Tennessee, just all over the place. And they're typically brands who need help sourcing barrels. So I come to you with Colorado Whiskey Speakeasy. Yeah. I have an EIN number, I'm registered, protect my brand. Mm -hmm. But I come to you as an entity of just an LLC. Yeah. Can I get a barrel from you? Absolutely. How does that work? So we have really two different types of clients. The one is they, I, okay, let's, they have three. The one is I, they already have a brand, they need help sourcing whiskey because of all the big guys have kind of kicked them out. So we help them source whiskey. The second is they want to start a brand. So we offer white label services, which is everything from sourcing your barrels of whiskey to helping you bottle them, to labeling them, to packaging them, to getting them ready for you to ship to your consumer. The third, which is the growing part of our portfolio, is just pure investors. So they'll buy 100 barrels of whiskey They'll warehouse them and then they'll tell me, you know, in a year or two, execute the sale and they'll just keep the profit. So they're not interested in a brand. Gotcha. So we really have the people who have brands or want brands who are trying to, you know, continue their sales and the people who just recognize that whiskey is a really good commodity. And so they buy it with the intent of selling it in the future. And that's, gotcha. that's what Rick House is. You know, it's a pretty self explanatory name. You know, Rick House is. It's a slang, the old term, they're, they're rack houses, but in the South, they used to slang the term and call them rick houses. And so we stuck with spirits instead of whiskey because we've got tequila customers, we've got a uh, potential wine customer. Most of it's whiskey, but so we, that's why I was like, Rick House Spirits Company is just kind of a good, easy name to go with. Gotcha. So these doors, no pun intended, they just opened up recently. So yep. we're a little bit dismay here. So yeah. what is the ultimate envision? I see that we have some spirits uh, Art of the Spirits over yep. here. Uh, what do we have, I mean? Yeah, so once we get it unpacked, you can already see some of the stuff over there. We've got the conference table here. So the idea is when we built this part, we put the windows in. So when the clients are here, you know, we're sampling whiskey, you can still look through the, the Rick House and see, you know, the barrels or whatnot. Mm -hmm. This cabinet that we're building out, that's going to be where all the clients that we source for, their bottles will go. Nice. So the distilleries that we're helping build their brands, their bottles will go there to showcase, like, these are our clients. This is just kind of research whiskey. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, we've got couches, we've got chairs, we'll kind of make it a little more cozy. Yeah. But this will be really the hangout room. A lot of stuff in here is copper sky stuff because we're in transition. Yeah. Um, but this will be a climate controlled room with the heater. Um, so in there, and you'll see like with the walls, this is legitimately like an old Rick house. It, it's nothing but tin siding, concrete flooring. And then in the warehouse, there is zero climate control. So it gets extremely cold and then extremely hot. So that brings me to the question. Your old place was Butterball Turkey. Yeah. What was this place? This was an old, I think it was like a machinery uh, building. Um, where they would like build and repair uh, like CNC machines and different machines. So on the other side of this wall, there's now a coffee roastery. So sometimes we'll come here in the mornings and it smells like you know, yeah. fresh coffee. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, this was, I think, just an old machine shop. Do I see any infused coffees coming there? Maybe. That's, <laughs> I've been talking to them. Yeah. I, I love partnerships and collaborations. So I've talked to them about. How awesome would that be? Like you have maybe a, a, an old barrel that you threw coffee beans in, yeah. and like you just have some rolling drum that just rolls it for, <laughs> yeah. you know, for a couple of days, yeah. right? I mean, that like a rock tumbler, right? Yeah, it's, right, a, right. it's a bean tumbler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Well, you can't know how to be better if you can't taste what's out there. That's right. So, well, let's go into this, the actual Rick House. Now yeah. what, will you be using this to store just the, the product that you'll be selling off to other people or are you gonna store Copper Sky stuff in here as well? This is just Rick House inventory. Okay. So it, right now there's some Copper Sky stuff but this will just be all Rick House. And so the really unique thing that we did too with this, Rick House has its own DSP and it's all its own licenses. Mm -hmm. So that's how we can offer white label services. So Rick House has its own, you know, you know, 
whiskey DSP, like you see, that's our that's the Copper Sky one. Mm -hmm. But Rickhouse has its own DSP and its own wholesale manufacturing licenses, so we can offer those services to th those clients. So if they are separate entities, but in theory, you're just kind of helping out. Rickhouse is helping out Copper yeah. Sky a little bit while you two are going through. Well, Absolutely. while Copper Sky, I should say, is going through its move from Absolutely. old to new. And, I, you know, I started Rickhouse with some friends because Copper Sky started having some logistical issues and then other brands started having those same issues. So I was like, you know what? Let's start a company that can help other distilleries. Mm -hmm. And so that's how Copper Sky, or Rickhouse started and has now blown up as with most of the companies I try. It's blown up faster than I can keep up with, which is why we have this warehouse. This was a... Again, this was a two-year plan, and we're executing it at month three. So, if you want to get a sneak peek, this is old archive stuff. Check out what's in there. Old Copper Sky archive bottles. The coveted wheat whiskey. Yeah, I have one of those still. Well, two. Yeah, all of these bottles are, are because we're moving, so yeah. it's like, it's the archive stuff that we have. Like, all of these cases, all of this is stuff that we've done in the past. Like, our first batch of moonshines right there, and just... Yep. You can tell the original Copper Sky stuff because it's got the, the white label versus the copper label. It's mm -hmm. so like, you know, that was the fight the fight club, the fight milk stuff that Casey did at Spirit Wine <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you know anything about um, uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes, yeah. that's exactly what they came from. <laughs> so yeah, all of it, the treasure trove is in here right now. All, yeah. all of the original, like all of the batch ones are behind you. It's like batch one of the bourbons right here. Batch one of the light whiskey, batch one of the seven year, all of that's so all over here. And then this is, you know, you know, at, at milestones, we'll pull a bottle out and open it. So, you know, it's right. whatever it is, you know, five year, 10 year, whatever it is, we'll dip into the archive and just try yeah. it. So like tonight, you know, it's our, our last night at the original location in the bar. So when it closes, my staff and I are gonna have some pours and I'm, we're gonna crack open a bottle of the wheat, honey, honey wheat whiskey and nice. reminisce on some fun. Cause that was one of our first projects, so. Yeah. Good times. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's uh, venture behind. Ah, it always smells so good in here because there's just whiskey barrels everywhere. Yeah. It definitely has its own awesome aroma. Yeah. And so in here, our clients will take, you know, it's not just MGP. So we've got stuff in here from North Carolina, Kentucky. Tennessee and then obviously Indiana, but we, I mean, we have a spread of all kinds of things. We're going to have tequila in here soon. So it's really unique warehouse. Um, it's not just one thing. Our portfolio for our clients is pretty vast. And yeah. so we can offer all kinds of different products for them. Nice. So take me through a little bit of this process. I know it's still a little bit of disarray. You kind of just started this up. You said three months in versus two years to get right, everything right. up and running. So, so a lot of this is like sleep, excuse me, for clients. So like this is one client stuff. This is another client stuff. The whole back is another client stuff. This is a fourth client stuff. And then so we're, we're, it's a lot of sleeves um, mm -hmm. because generally it's either the client needs whiskey right now because they have a brand. So it's, we yeah. pass through. Some of this stuff is they want it to age long. You can see from here, like there's red tags on things. Yeah. That's like a longer term aging project. And then some of it's just like, this is a customer here that is looking to launch his, it's a new distillery in Colorado and he's already been making whiskey, but he just needs to age it until he gets a spot. So this will be a new Colorado brand in the future. So no names, but his own distillate and you're aging it for him. Right. Nice. Yeah. And he does some contracting as well. And I will say it's going to be a, a very new product for Colorado. It okay. is a grain. And, and well, I think I don't think he'll mind to be honest with you, because uh -huh. he wants free plugs. But it's dark iron distilling. Okay. Um, I've been helping him for about a year now. Uh, he contracts his stuff until he gets his still. I think he's trying to launch in Black Hawk, but somewhere on this side of the slope, um, dark iron distilling. It's it's amazing. It's a hundred percent malted rye. Very different, yeah. and it is so good. It's like the chocolate notes are insane. Yeah. So, you know, 100% malted rye is a very unique grain because rye is typically not malted, mm -hmm. especially at 100%. Mm -hmm. So his product is gonna be really unique. Um, and he's looking to launch his first batch 
I think sometime at the end of this year or next year. But the really cool thing is because of the partnership with not only Rick House, but Copper Sky, when he does his bottling, we'll be able to offer that at Copper Sky's tasting room because it's under the same bond. Gotcha. So when Dark Iron Distilling Batch 1 comes out, it, yeah. it'll be available at our tasting room. But it's Bottle 69? Yeah. Or oh, 68. 68. Sorry. Yeah, it is 68. <laughs> yeah, so we got a couple different clients and it's just growing. A lot of times, like I said, two days ago, if you had come here, we had 150 more barrels that we had just shipped out. Mm -hmm. So we'll get barrels in and then clients will be like, hey, I need it now. So then we'll ship it right back out. Some yeah. will bring it in and they want it to rest a little bit longer, um, which is why we have the space. Mathematically, we'll be able to get about 600 barrels in here. Nice. So it'll be full of whiskey barrels and full of all kind of fun stuff. Nice. Yeah. So um, speaking about the, uh, you know, very rarely seen, yeah. only heard of, maybe seen a picture or two of this person. Bigfoot. Uh, the Bigfoot. If we pan the camera left. Oh shit, he's here. <laughs> oh my God, Isaac is real. He is real. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I told you we could find him. Yeah. You just gotta put the whiskey, the whiskey signal out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As sun sets. <laughs> he only comes out at certain times of the day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how's it going, buddy? It's good. All the all the kudos I was throwing out for all the marketing and all the labels. Right, I know. I That's was waiting. Right I was waiting for that segue. Good thing you That's popped into right it. So he's the one that makes all of our labels. Yeah. <laughs> so Isaac's beautiful face and then mom's amazing but i mean every it's, it's justin that's him yeah and the good thing we get him on camera because he is definitely a behind the scenes most creative people unfortunately don't get the kudos that they need yeah so now we're putting him in front of the camera yeah I, i'm gonna get you the the vest where you did the gopro just right here so as, <laughs> as you walk it's like the blair witch project <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the round. Thing. Yeah. Then you can see Isaac popping his head up behind <laughs> you over your shoulder. Yeah. I was being on the screen. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, I've already hacked into your your uh, your webcam. So we got, uh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> what do you? What are we trying? I brought the over? breast cancer bottle. Breast over. cancer bottle. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I have not had it yet. So, well, obviously, not many people have. I think yeah. you just bottled it last week, we and did. Uh, and the first bottles went out like two days ago. Yeah. People are picking it up today, and. It's kind of because we're in transition, it's hard to say, hey, come pick it up here because we're not going to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. So if people show up, we'll give it to them. But, you know, we got to we're trying to figure out the pickup spot. Right. Yeah. Well, it could be my garage if you want it to be. Oh, <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, we're out of whiskey. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. They, don't have the scraps they must not have given it to me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Take that up with the mic. <laughs> 